my prediction for 2015, more stupid feminist causes. We saw a whole doozy of them in 2014. First, the hashtag activists set about to make George Orwell proud with the Ban Bossy campaign. Celebrities like Beyonce threw her weight behind the campaign to ban the word bossy. The idea is that girls are less interested in leadership because they're worried about being called bossy. So it's kind of insulting to imply that girls are this weak that they can't overcome the torture of a word. They just want to ban the word altogether. Despite the trauma of being called bossy when they were younger, all of the women featured in the campaign turned out to be incredibly successful in their own right. So it's less about protecting weak little girls and more about limiting thought, totalitarian state style. Meanwhile, the Iraqi parliament was preparing to pass a new law that would legalize rape, prohibit women leaving the home without the permission of their husband, and legalizing marriage to nine-year-old girls. There was no multi-million dollar feminist media blitz to bring attention to this situation, nor did Beyonce back some heavy PSA to put pressure on the government of Saudi Arabia over their characterization of female drivers as potential terrorists. And there were all sorts of ridiculous things that feminists wanted to ban in 2014. Manspreading. They want to ban men sitting with their legs spread on public transportation rather than, you know, cross them effeminately. The campaign says that it's a space thing, and some women took their hatred for men to the extreme with the hashtag kill all men. And that's pretty self-explanatory, but apparently that was okay for Twitter. But when one woman dared to start the hashtag women against feminism, insulted harpies set about to demand that Twitter suspend her account. Meanwhile, ISIS is asking Twitter for suggestions on how to kill a captured Jordanian pilot. No harpy rage there. But one thing that they didn't want to ban? Nipples. That's right. While women in Pakistan are being stoned to death for marrying men that their families didn't choose, the feminists of the free world are demanding that they be free to post nip pics on Instagram. Girls in the Middle East are being sold into sex slavery for as little as $10 by ISIS, but in a creepy call to have the freedom to post her nipples on social media, Miley Cyrus photoshopped an image of her childhood head attached to a grown woman's body. Yes, this is really the big freedom that feminists are fighting for. And what is it about clothing that is so offensive to feminists anyway? Who can forget Shirtgate? A scientist took a giant leap for mankind when he was able to achieve the first ever landing of a spacecraft on the surface of a comet. But he was promptly brought back down to Earth when feminists attacked his choice of clothing, a colorful bowling shirt featuring scantily clad cartoon characters. And it was a shirt given to him by a female friend. But feminists also don't like superhero t-shirts or being mocked by Star Wars fans. They want women to have the freedom to make their own choices, except when that choice is for a traditional role. And feminist Guardian journalist Jessica Valenti thinks wrapping Christmas presents is really oppressive, y'all. And apparently the Christmas holiday is oppressive to feminists around the world. Femin activists promoted the stealing of baby Jesus from nativity scenes as part of its Massacre of the Innocents campaign. Their demand? Abortion as a woman's right. So they're going to simulate killing babies to make this happen. Today's version of feminism is a total joke. What used to be women fighting for the right to vote and the right to own property has been hijacked as a means for social engineering by the authoritarian politically correct brigade. It has very little to do with actual women's rights. But since the word feminism has become a part of pop culture in 2014, and of course there's the ramp up for the 2016 elections with possibly two female contenders, I predict even more stupid feminist causes in 2015. These will be exploited to promote cultural Marxism, confuse gender roles, be little men, and mislead women, all while completely ignoring genuine women's rights issues.
Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is it's hard, even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food and our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I could see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser Oxy Powder, the Secret 12 Bioavailable Vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com.